So today finds me hair up, uh, t-shirt, shorts under the desk um, and keeping cool. I love this weather and I know not everybody does um, because uh, you know some people prefer it a bit cooler uh, but I guess I'm very fortunate not, not having to be outside in it all day working and so thinking really here about well what else is going on other than dehydration in the heat because of course we're told up to keep up with our water intake but what else are we losing uh, through the skin with water and of course it's looking at uh, electrolyte minerals and other minerals and also thinking about any vitamin losses too because you might be surprised to know that there's some of those as well um, so if we look at vitamin and mineral losses we lose some of our water soluble vitamins vitamin c vitamin b1 and b2 and all four of our main so-called electrolyte minerals which carry an electrical charge and have particular actions in the cells um, and outside the cells and in the blood of course and the way that they do that is to operate with the um, electrical charge for example um, the calcium electrolyte keeps muscles tensed when necessary contracted and the magnesium will relax your muscles now trace minerals um, iron copper zinc and selenium are lost through sweat as well and just thinking about you know sweat perspiration glowing whatever you'd like to call it uh, was thought to have originated from victorian etiquette guides I'm not quite sure what the etiquette was when you were sweating. Might have to do a bit more research on that. Um, so, looking at the losses, they did a 2016 research study with steel workers in China, looking at what the mineral and vitamin losses were through sweat, uh, and then also looking at well, what effect does that have on the body. And one of the things they found was that vitamin C losses, potassium and calcium losses particularly, could be correlated to raised blood pressure. So therefore, a greater risk of hypertension in those workers. And um, of course, I'm not sure that we are quite in the conditions even of steel workers uh, on a day like today, but um, it's certainly pretty hot. Now it's thinking about well what else um, in the list of minerals that I mentioned might be important for regulating blood pressure and one of them is magnesium because uh, as it relaxes the muscles magnesium also relaxes your blood vessels and helps them keep expanded and keep all the blood flowing so they're also important from the point of view of keeping a steady uh, normal blood pressure. Now thinking about tips for maintaining losses I've got a couple of tips here for you I'm going to post another little video about lemon and lemon zest because you might be astonished how many vitamins and minerals are available not just in uh, lemon but also in lemon zest lemon zest has a significant number of minerals in it and both of those together with um, you know di diluted in water on a daily basis and you could even you know keep that at the side of the desk or side of wherever you are and just keep sipping and keep those topped up that way um, and you know it's amazing that uh, we will replace um, our vitamins not only vitamin C but also the water soluble vitamins B1 and B2 are available in the pair of them, which is um, amazing, certainly the, the lemon zest. And so then also got another little tip, which is that, and you know, very often I will say to people, oh, um, you know, salt is a big no-no, 
And the kind of salt I mean is table salt, processed uh, salt such as you find from manufacturers such as Saxa and so on, and the type that manufacturers used in processed foods and cheeses and breads and bacons and hams and things like this. Uh, but Himalayan rock salt and sea salt are a very different animal. Himalayan rock salt has 80 uh, minerals in it other than sodium, uh, or 80 plus, and sea salt has 40 plus minerals in it other than sodium. And so uh, one thing you can do is to pop a couple of teaspoons, sorry, a teaspoon of uh, sea salt or rock salt into two pints of water a quart so called so called and keep them in the bottle of water uh, just give it a gentle swill and let it slowly dissolve and then each morning put a teaspoon of that in your morning water uh, and indeed on a hot day like this when there are more uh, mineral losses you could pop a teaspoon in some of your other water as well so it's a teaspoon of the dissolved rock or sea salt water. Now there are so many other benefits to Soleil and if you'd like to email me for a handout on Soleil uh, please go ahead susie at lookafter-you.co.uk and I'll send that out to you. Right, have a great day and look after you.